Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. I'll be right back. See ya. Onward. All right, hang on, guys. <laughs> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. Rafe's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Singing the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was just... Hey, you think that old building's worth checking out? Ah, hell. Can't jump that high. Maybe use the car. Just a suggestion. Sorry, you were saying? Um, no. Oh, right. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. What would you read? <laughs> History. Uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. <laughs> well, that would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> Well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. So, pirate walks into a bar. 
Okay, here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, hey, man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate says back, argh, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> ah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here. That's man-made or natural? Looks to me to be half and half. Yeah, he might be Roger here. This one. Roger this. Nothing here. Watch your left. in that pit. Check it out. Hey, maybe there's something down there. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, we ain't got no auto club out here, Nathan. Oh, boy. Oh. Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. in there. Check it out, boys. What is it? Hey, guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. <laughs> 